Welcome back to the Steve Champagne Radio Show. Welcome back, I Love Music Army. Welcome back, REO Speedwagon fans. First time viewers, thank you for watching this video for the very first time and welcome to the Steve Champagne Radio Show. We talk all things music and entertainment. We're happy to have you with us for this particular video. Now, if you're an REO Speedwagon fan, I got news for you. As they say in sports, it's over. It's over. They've announced that they've canceled all tour dates due to irreconcilable differences. Now, I find this extremely hard to believe, and here's why. First off, uh, the, the reason this is, is coming first is, is Bruce Hall, the original bass player for the band. He got a back injury about a year ago. Uh, Kevin Cronin said he was going to come back as soon as possible. I guess he's tried to come back. And the ban, the consensus, voted that he's just not healthy enough to play at the level that fans expect him to play at. Well, um, the other key, the keyboard player, uh, Neil, he's gone. He's left in 2023, so he's been gone. So who's left in the band? Now, I'm assuming uh, that, you know, Kevin Cronin is controlling the bands, especially since, you know, Bruce had that injury. And who is the consensus? That's what I want to know. If everybody's gone from the band and Kevin Cronin's really the only guy left, okay, maybe Neil's got a stake in it. I'm sure he's got a vote. Bruce has probably got a vote. But that's other than that, I mean, that's it. So, um, you, you know, what is this consensus? Is this some political way to say, uh, you know, I'm going to be a solo artist now? Because let's face it, if you go to see Aria Speedwagon, if you don't have the original members of the band, especially Gary, who left a long time ago, and we all miss him, of course, but, um, it, you know, I mean, you weren't seeing the original guys anyways. I mean, Kevin Cronin, everybody knows who he is. If he goes out as Kevin Cronin and plays all them Ario Speedwagon songs, is anybody really going to care? Now, I get it. The Ario Speedwagon brand, it does have something to it. I don't know the legalities, who controls the brand or anything like that. I don't know anything about that, but I th just think it's a funny thing that, that was released a statement, the consensus. Who? You think the drummer in that band currently has some kind of controlling vote on whether they continue to tour or not? I don't think that, uh, personally. I think Kevin Cronin really is the one in charge of this decision, and it, I I'm sure there's a lot more to it than this that I don't know about or that's not being revealed. Now, I Love Music Army, I have a couple questions for you. First off, do you know anything about this that I don't know? Because this is all I know. Um, this is, you know, reputable sources saying that, that this is a statement, a public statement that they've released. So that's definitely credible. But do you know who controls this band? I don't know who controls it. And on top of that, does anyone really care? I mean, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's the, you know, I mean, I hate to say it, but every day we seem to wake up, uh, you know, every week, one of our heroes is gone and it's going to be even sadder and sadder as time passes that all the people we grew up knowing and loving in the music industry and world that has made our life so wonderful by listening to these songs over and over and over again, um, you know, they're just going to be passing away, you know, with Paul McCartney, Mick Jagger. I mean, just all these legendary people that are still around, uh, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know. But this Ario Speedwagon thing, something fishy's going on, if you ask me. I mean, I can't tell you everything, but that's what I'm saying at this point in time. So, I Love Music, chime in in the comment section down there. I want to hear what you have to say. I read every single comment. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Subscribe, share, like, join our internet musical global family of friends at the Steve Champagne Radio Show.